Scorpio. Welcome to your in-depth reading for yours and theirs. For those of you who are new, yours and theirs is an energy read between yourself and someone else. Therefore, it does not have to be about a significant other, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, lover type situation. It's whomever's in the dynamic as I'm describing it. So it could be about a family member or friend. Keep that in mind. But yes, of course, it could reflect someone of special significance too. Like always, for that reason, take what resonates, leave it does not, reverse those energies as you see fit, more so with yours and theirs, as energy exchange and interchange is real, rapid, and fluid. These are, after all, general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may not resonate at all. Frustrating, but normal. Check out the placements you will find yourself in there somewhere. And in case you missed the Sunday check-in, I'm still recovering from a cold, so we have the heavy vocal cords and the heavy breathing and all that stuff. Um, I might have to use my inhaler too. Don't let that disturb you. I'm used to it. Okay. What's going on, please? Show me Scorpio and their person. 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 What's going on, please? Show me Scorpio. And their person. What's going on, please? Show me Scorpio. Show me Scorpio. Okay. We're going to start with your side of the board, but as I said in the intro, reverse those energies as you see fit. What's going on, please? <clears throat> oh, ten of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Okay. It may not seem like much, but, you know, slowly but surely... You'll pick yourself up and dust yourself off. Okay, let's keep going. Six of Swords, Seven of Cups, Three of Swords. Um, it's a bit of a contradiction right there. Six of Swords, Seven of Cups, Three of Swords. It's like uh, I want to move away from being open towards this, but I would also consider reopening it at okay shared the full six of cups and the emperor i think that's where that's coming from the star meant a lot to you dream vision let's see what's going on we're going to start right there with the star show me the star please show me the star you know yours was pretty straightforward there's not so much uh, what could be here between you two is the opportunity to open back up and take a risk someone has to show empowerment and act on this with the emperor being there there is clearly a soul bond at play um, that is unique in nature it would require opening up and taking a risk but with the empowerment of the emperor to step into it and mean it something like this let's see that star please You're both experiencing certain levels of pain and distrust. There's, I have to admit, it's a little more confusing. Uh, they're pointing out this way, and then they turn back around and look this way. Um, it makes me wonder how much of their heart and mind they have actually made up on the subject. You're just saying, ow, this hurts. Okay. Let's see the star, please. Not that I'm trying to minimize it. It's just... It's kind of low for both of you. Show me that star, please. Show me the star, show me the star, show me the star. Show me that star, please. Five of Pentacles, Judgment, the Magician. Okay. We had hoped so much more would come of this, whatever it is. Okay. And maybe it will one day mean more, but today it doesn't. Today it seems like a broken star, because it is. It is something that you had to break from in terms of desire. And almost kind of had to summon the help of the universe to help you with it. Like you you didn't want to do it. You didn't want to have to break from this this desire, this vision that you've had. So when you're showing me the Magician of the Judgment, the Five of Pentacles, you need help with this. I need help to let go with this. I need help to part ways with this uh, because it wasn't easy. You don't really ask help from the universe unless you mean it. <laughs> it's kind of like praying for the, the nerve to let this go, to let this vision go, to detach from it, to abandon it, to no longer let it have the value that it once did. In other words, devalue the star. You wish you could stop feeling towards it, 
the way you once did, so you asked for help. Uh, to break from it, and like I said, try to make that star less of a star in your vision. To accept it, to be at peace with it, to come to terms with it, to kind of have the strength, or the will, I should say, with the magician there, to let it go, to let this, this vision go, this desire go. Okay. So that's a lot. That's quite a bit right there. And it might be something that to this day you are still working through. Let's say that it's done. Let's say you did abandon it, let it go. You still feel like you have to work hard to spiritually let it go, emotionally let it go. Okay, it's quite a bit of power. So that means it meant a lot to you. And this star for you, for some reason, was really hard to let go of in terms of a vision. And you still struggle with it to this day. So I don't know how long ago that happened. But uh, I still see you trying to tap the universe. Please allow me to remember, let this go. You know. You still struggle with it, but you are indeed trying. Okay. Let's see that Ten of Swords. I think there was one time you prayed to heal this. And I see you now praying to let it go. Okay. I'm pretty sure what I just saw here was a conversion. You used to hope to overcome the break or the difficulties, and now you really hope and pray to let it go. Okay. Let's see that Ten of Swords. Show me that Ten of Swords. Show me that Ten of Swords. Show me that Ten of Swords. It must have meant a lot to you. Show me that Ten of Swords. Show me that Ten of Swords, please. Ten of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Six of Cups. We are deeply attracted to and spiritually felt connected to a soul bond here, which did not make this any easier, of course. Um, and I also believe that they were attracted to you in some way, of course. Okay, We have a unique connection here with somebody. Six of Cups is always going to be unique. It's going to have nostalgia attached to it. So again, for water-oriented people, especially Scorpio, who have fixed emotions, we can take those deep memories to a very deep place, and um, they can mean the world to us. So that unique connection then, you feel it, you felt it, you reminisce on it, but you're saying it was, it was really hard to engage in this. You were fired up for it, this Queen of Wands, it meant a lot to you in terms of passion and drive, and maybe even inspiration, creativity too. Queen of Wands denotes all those things. For this connection, Six of Cups. There's something about it that spoke to you individually. It lit you up in ways that perhaps you didn't fully understand, but it engaged you in many areas of your life and particularly in what you felt. Ten of Swords and Ten of Wands, but you're saying it was really getting difficult. Yeah, you know, I'm still under 10 minutes, so I had to self-censor. <laughs> it was really fucking difficult. Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. You carried this along as much as you could or as long as you could. Despite what you felt for it, or how you loved it, okay? Because Six of Cups is still water. You're saying it was too difficult to be born, to bear. It provoked some real qualities in you. It did. But you're saying it was too much to carry. It was too hard to carry. It was too painful, okay? So that's why I think I see you calling from help from the universe to let this go, because it means too much to you. For some reason, you're saying it, it's the impossible thing. It's the impossible connection. It cannot be carried. It cannot be born any longer. Okay. The impossible connection. Oh, well, those are my favorites, honey. Let's talk about it. Let's see that Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing about this that was light. But it made you feel like maybe it could be. Because it had an ease of connection. That's what the Six of Cups is. It has an ease of connecting that makes you think anything around it could be easy too. And it's just, it didn't shake up that way. All right. Let's see that Knight of Pentacles. Let's see that Knight of Pentacles. Show me that Knight of Pentacles.
strength, three of wands, uh, justice. Okay, and that's why it was too difficult to be born. You did that thing I tell people not to do. It's not an accusation. It's just this is why I advise against it because you pay a price for waiting. Uh, you waited way too long to see if this thing would even out or if it would make sense, if it would be justified, if it would be karmically correct or spiritually correct, balanced on the scales with justice there. Nine to pentacle strength. So this is where we see strength is either a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how we as humans use it. All cards have pros and cons, and they're absolutely a reflection of human personality, traits, characteristics, and that kind of thing. So you can either make strength work for you or against you, and this is where strength worked against you. It that's not an insult, it's not a slight, don't take it as one. So let's default to basic rules in case you are new. When it comes to waiting, three of wands, which is the baseline definition. You don't ask anyone ever to wait. That's a big no-no. Unless you have damn good reason. And you don't volunteer. Unless, of course, you have damn good reason. As far as I could tell, perhaps you thought or felt that you had damn good reason with justice there. I have to keep putting my strength of will into this. I have to know if this connection is equal. Justice. Is it justified? What I feel for it, how I act towards it, I need to know. So it's that thing of I need to know. That is the number one feedback response prompter I get for people who try to explain waiting and why they did it. I needed to know. How long did you need to wait? And you still didn't have an answer. You know. We all know when we wait. Intentionally or unintentionally for someone or a situation. Because if we had the answer we wanted, we would never feel in the position to wait. But no, we're going to tell ourselves, I got to hang in there. I, I need to know. You already know. Anything that wants to show up and understand that it's equal to you, doesn't ask you to wait, and you will never feel like you're in the position of waiting. It presents itself as being on the same page. Okay. But uh, it's not poorly intended. It's not malicious on your part. Um, you kept moving slowly in this because, A, it felt right. I see that. Even while it also felt very wrong. And then, B, because you had the strength of will to do so. Okay. And you thought it was good. All right, so there's that six of cups, not once but twice. Let's jump on over here to this three of pentacles. You know, you pay a price for waiting, guys, and for you, you said it caused a lot of pain, an unbearable burden to keep waiting for this thing to look like it was equal or not. Again, if it was equal, you wouldn't have to wait. And I'm not talking a couple of days, guys. That's not a couple of days. Three of Pentacles. Let's see that Three of Pentacles, please. Show me that Three of Pentacles. Show me that Three of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, you know. Whatever that Three of Pentacles is, is aware of itself, but it's not going to show back up. It seems to actively avoid common spaces. Okay. Okay, let's back up. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Um, I need you to carry on with your own life and endeavors. It looks like you have quite a bit going on for you. And that's what I need you to focus on. Someone could join you in that space. Clearly you two share an overlapping environment. They actively avoid those spaces where you might be. Okay, so that's dodging. Um, and it said but it's, it's dodging. If I think Scorpio is going to be there, that's the last place I'm going to be. So you two clearly share an overlapping environment. And the fact that somebody is going out of their way to make sure that they don't have any run-in with you, contact with you, or any points on your timeline of 
possible future connectivity is dodging. It's dodging. Okay. You need to go on about your life. Um, okay. Go on about your life. No. No. Let me put it this way. If you two actually ran into each other, but you by complete, total accident, something that person didn't see coming. Because <laughs> they seem to go out of their way where you two have common points. Okay. Six of swords, seven of cups, three of swords. That's what I'm saying. Um, this person said they leave this behind. They won't pursue feelings with you. Uh, but every now and again, they feel an ache. And it kind of turns them back around. Okay, let's keep on keeping on. It's, uh, it's sad to see something like that. Six of Swords. Some of that Six of Swords. Yeah, I can kind of see why... You might be calling on the universe to give this up, to completely let it go, to completely abandon it. Honey, it looks like it's it's worth more weight for you to try to carry it, participate in it, and wait for it. It's costing you a great deal. I'd, I'd like you to push this goal a little more. Okay. I just, uh, if somebody wants to show up, they'll show up. If somebody has to go out of their way to avoid you, Instead of, you know, speaking up or whatever, I, I just I have a hard time respecting that. So That's me, though. Um, I tend to respect people who speak up for themselves and say, this is what I say, this is what I mean, this is what I'm doing. Not the absence of it. So. And if at someone's face value, they constantly turn their face away so you can't see it, I mean, you still have an answer. Okay. Someone's lack of word or deed is their, their true face. I, <laughs> I know you have particular feelings for this connection, and I'm sure that they are returned in some way, but... Um, Anyone who would treat you like that, is it worth it? The Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Wands, and Reflection of You, Seven of Wands. Uh, plenty of time has passed for this person as well. Queen of Wands. Reflecting on you, Seven of Wands, they have to kind of mentally readjust and tell themselves to leave this behind. They understand that you're attractive. I've had a feeling it was running both ways. Um, and that they have to reject that. They have to reject this idea of passion and being drawn to it, that they have to keep moving on. You know, no, nope, I don't care if Scorpio makes me crazy or if they turn me on. No, 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 no. So, you know. Like I said, they, they're determined mentally to move on, at least from the parts of you that they find attractive. And yet, for some reason, I keep seeing them linger in some way. So let's take a look at that Seven of Cups. So it's it's easy to reject attraction because anybody can be attractive. Um, that's, that's really not the hard part. I mean, for some people it is. I don't quite understand that because attraction should never dictate someone's heart levels. It really shouldn't. But you'd be shocked how many people are susceptible to it. You're showing me I'm attractive for this connection. I'm naturally passionate towards it because it feels like it's mine. They're like, Scorpio's just attractive, but no. Nope. Move on. Okay. Seven of Cups. Um, okay. So like I said, it's pretty easy to dismiss attraction if that's what you think it all amounts to. And yet, let's take a look. Seven of cups, three cups. Yeah. There's an admission there that we know we enjoy connecting. Good 
goodness me. I don't understand what this person's motivation is. I don't get it. They wanted to taste some of the cups. They wanted to poke the cups. They wanted to touch the cups a little bit. They wanted to look at the cups, but they didn't want to take the cups seriously. Four of pentacles, six of pentacles, five of wands. What the fuck is that? This person's internal dialogue is way off. It's so off the map, there is no map. What is this? Very fragmented. Okay, let's say this person is coming from a rational point of view. It's all about Scorpio is attractive. I just suppress that. Seven ones, no problem. You leave it behind. Well, how do you explain then all this greed that's going around in the heart space? Seven of Cups is, is defined by four of Pentacles, six of Pentacles, five of Wands. We had to actively suppress the need to give more to this. Somebody wanted to do more than poke around them cups and explore it. They actively withheld. They knew they could have given more. They knew. They knew. This is self-sabotaging in another way. It's kind of like saying, I could have planned more in the pentacle world. I could have given more in the pentacle world. I chose to refrain, and then I had to fight myself on it. This was like an ongoing... They probably thought it was between you and them, but it was really within themselves. They thought they were probably fighting with you about wanting more time, energy, and effort. And it's like, oh, that Scorpio, they always want more time, energy, and effort for me. They always want to see me more, and I don't want it. No, that was their dialogue within themselves. They actually wanted more emotional exploration, not less. They actively chose to refrain. And then they made it like a you problem. Scorpio wants too much. They want too much of my time. No. That, that, that was a little dialogue between them and them. It's literally at the heart of the matter. They could have given more. They chose not to. And it has to do with that Seven of Cups. Getting too far in the emotionality for this to be comfortable for somebody? Then why the hell were they messing around with you to begin with? What was the goal here? What was the objective? Three of Swords. It caused a lot of arguing, but within themselves. Hmm, I feel like I want to give more to this. That instinct is probably incorrect. That can't be right. No, no, no. We're going to minimize contact with Scorpio. There we go. And that didn't feel right either because that still caused an internal argument. But then they probably deflected to you and said it's because Scorpio wants too much, right? Because here, I don't see you imposing your will on anybody. You're saying, through my own strength of will, I choose to wait. This might make sense in the end. That's not an imposition of one's will. That's you enforcing your own to stay in there. Let's see that three of swords. I don't understand what the point of connecting to you was. I really don't. It's kind of like if Scorpio wants it, then I probably shouldn't do it. I, I just don't see the point of this. But we'll get there. It's the Swords, Page of Pentacles. I mean, look, you will note this is not called you versus. That's stupid. It's yours, theirs. It suggests that both people have an equal shot to represent themselves. Okay. Until I start to see the inequality. And then I got a job to do of explaining to people about what went wrong and why. Um, three of Swords, Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. They can say whatever the hell they wanted for minimizing time with you. And then saying it was you wanting too much. When you're over here being like, I'll wait. I, I believe in this connection. I believe in this connection. I don't... Maybe it's not harming me at all. Maybe it will make sense in the end. They wanted to caress those cups, feel out the emotions, but really pick and choose when and where and how those got developed. And it was minimal. Four to six. Four of pentacles is six. That's subtraction. Okay. Five of Wands on top of it. They got to pick and choose the level of participation. 
and they chose to minimize it. it. Didn't cause them conflict. So already we're incongruent. And then three of swords. It's pain here. Pain in the heart. No shit. Ace of swords. Oh, we have insight now. After the fact, the rejection here was caused by minimal investment. You think so? You think so? Do we think that was the issue here? After all this time, we thought about, well, Scorpio wants it that it must be bad or it's too much. We realize now the rejection is coming from my being a stingy, uptight, you know what, that won't give back. Ace of Swords, the truth. Over the Three of Swords, Page of Pentacles, minimal investment. Ace of Pentacles, the best offer. Two thirds. But not apparently for this person to do anything about it. It's All I can see is hindsight pain. Well, I know where the pain's coming from. I might have shot myself in the foot by not giving enough to this because I fought it at every conceivable turn. Oh! Okay, so when I'm telling you, you need to mind your business and uh, don't worry about this person dodging the known places of the environment. <laughs> okay, I, I, I just don't. Um, if you have not completely given up on this, you know, I would really up your manifestation qualities um, to let this go. I know it meant a lot to you. And as far as I can see, the only reason why is the source of the connection. You see it is very precious to you. And I don't know why. It seems to have treated you very poorly. But take it to a Scorpio to put it in that heart space and be like, well, I can handle it. You know? You might have a lot of fire in its heart, that ambition. You know? Pride. But I'm, I'm telling you, your environment and your own sense of stability and livelihood is so much bigger than this nonsense that they go out of their way to actively avoid, so God forbid they don't have to run into you. I wouldn't either. What was done here is sad, hindsight, and borderline cowardly. I just... Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to feel some sort of sympathetic response towards this, but I'd see every conceivable twist and turn where they had the opportunity to expand with you in the 3D and expand with you at the emotional. They're like, no. In fact, because I feel that, because I feel like that's my natural instinct, I'm going to reduce it in half. If I want to see Scorpio today, I'm actually going to wait three weeks. Do you see what I'm saying? It's right here. It's literally the heart of the reading, the knot. And then they're like, oh, I should have invested more. That's the truth. That's why I got rejected. Oh. I don't... I have yet to see the psychological or emotional underpinnings to this. And I'm, I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. And I'm, I'm struggling. I'm not going to lie. I'm struggling. Okay. Let's see that fool, please. Yours at least was honest. You told me this was a pain in the ass. You told me this was hurting you. You told me I waited around for this to make sense way too long, and I did it to myself because of pride. I suck. That's what you said. Be like, I... Fuck me if I don't love this connection, though. Well, you think you, you, you open praying to the universe to let this go was a coincidence? And in comparison, they're like, I should have given more. It might have stayed. This could have been a new opportunity for me, a full one, a comprehensive opportunity. Did I hurt myself, Three Swords? By rejecting it unconsciously? Oh. Alright, let's see that fool, please. Show me the fool, show me the fool. Sorry, I need to get back on track. Show me the fool, please. Show me the fool, show me the fool, show me the fool, show me the fool. Show me that fool, please. Show me the fool, show me the fool. Nine of Pentacles, Justice, that's you, King of Wands. Yeah, some of you might have some damn strong fire in your chart. That, 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 was, that was, again, you're being very honest with me from your point of view about why you did what you did. Um, so I appreciate you for that. So with the Fool, you're like, yeah, 
I did stupid shit. Nine of Pentacles, <laughs> Justice, and I'm lying. I'm laughing about it because I can feel it now. That's the truth of it. You of your, again. You keep showing me your own independent free will. I, Scorpio of sound mind and body, chose to do this. I'm stupid. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now I'm not saying you're stupid, but I'm saying I get you. I do. I understand where you came from. I know where you did what you did. Nine of Pentacles, Justice, there it is again. And then there's some more of that King of Wands energy. I know you're passionate, Scorpio. In fact, we are technically the unofficial fire sign of the Zodiac. Nobody really understands why the hell we're water, except we have fixed emotions. And that's that's how we got labeled or pegged down sets. Um, you know, it just ambition, that sense of passion that's tied to us. You just, you said, I know me. I got to do this. Nine of Pentacles, Justice, King of Wands. You're like, I'm going to be the fool. I'm just going to open up towards this again and again. But you also have that twist here of I'm doing this of my own free will. You're saying, I, I made that choice. This is my own free will. No one forced me to do it. No one made me do it. No one coerced me. I did it my damn self. Aren't I that much more of a fool? So, and I'll answer that as being no, and I'll tell you why. Even though the output seems stupid, ridiculous, and overbearing, you were still in alignment with you when you chose it. That's why. I just see you re-exposing yourself towards this when it went past the point of pain, and that's when you can be accused of being a fool. But your origins were real and honest, as far as I can tell. But at some point you did, yes, cross your own threshold from being open like the fool to just being foolish. And here's the constant exposure and how it wore on you. Okay. But you did say, Justice King of Wands, you really honestly thought, you honestly thought this would make sense in the end, in some way. You really felt that. Okay. You did. You felt it. I got it. All right. Let's see that Six of Cups, please. Let's see that Six of Cups. That you would be justified in the end, that your sense of feeling and flow and direction or dedication would make sense in the end. You, you kind of took that on blind faith, okay? Um, that's all I can see is that willingness to be open despite how heavy it got. Okay. Let's say that six of cups. My only question is, do you, are you still low-key waiting for that person to this day? And that's why you're still manifesting full separation from it? Or what? Because they don't seem to be too active in your life. They already kind of told themselves it's about passion. Get over it. After that, I don't see them connected to you except for the frustration that it was the absolute hell it was to connect with this. Let's see that Six of Cups. Show me that Six of Cups. Show me that Six of Cups. Otherwise, that's absolutely beautiful. This is the type of risk you take on someone who you know is worth it. They show that Ace of Pentacles sooner. Not as a hindsight as 2020 thing. Okay. Let's see that Six of Cups, please. Let's see that Six of Cups. Show me that Six of Cups. Five of Cups, Death, and there you are, the Magician. See, that's and back to the opening point. So, yeah, I told you, I saw a conversion process where you started your star as, I really need this universe. It means a lot to me. Please let us heal. Let this have context and meaning further out. To, dear God, please allow me to break from this because I need to. That's exactly what I saw here. Okay. Uh, the process, I will say, is almost complete, at least at the emotional level, because I can't see any 3D activity, especially since they go out of their way to avoid it. That whatever shared spaces you two had, they make sure they don't go there, just in case. Okay. <clears throat> and someone who's convinced it's all about passion instead of what it is they were willing to give, they will always be wrong. Okay? We still haven't consolidated our damn selves and understood what this meant to us yet, whoever that is. Anyway, Six of Cups, Five of Cups, Death, the Magician. Going back to your opening. There you are. See that? Your manifestation is taking root. You're able to emotionally or you're starting to emotionally disconnect from this. You see that now, don't you? It's probably taken a long time because the Scorpio I'm looking at, you was stubborn. You got the finger. You was stubborn. But I can see where it came from. Okay. I see where it came from. You said, I got this. I choose this. Nobody's making me do anything. Yeah. 
I, I don't know. At some point, perhaps they were amused by it, how it started out. Fun, flirty, sexy, I don't know. But then it started to get real. We need more to keep this going, and it stopped being fun. I don't know. You're like, but the connection means a lot to me. That doesn't mean it did to them. Or if they realize it, it's much too late. But yes, you are succeeding in that particular manifestation, I promise. Look at that. There you are. To let this go. Emotionally, too. Not just physically. Okay? Not just mentally. Actually, you didn't show me mental conflict. Other than the pain, you know it causes you up here. No, no. You're saying you want the last of that emotional attachment to go, which for us is very hard as we tend to be emotionally loyal, which is why we're still technically designated as water, if nothing else. It's kind of like, can you please take the last scraps of my emotional attachment to this person? Five of cups over the six, both passed. Okay. Okay. Very good. So that's a big deal for us. When we get out of those depths and we understand who's worth being loyal to and who isn't, that's a heavy day. But that's like day one of understanding your freedom. Okay? I don't care how far back that connection goes once you start to emotionally kill something. It's really hard to stop the process. So, the emperor. Anybody who would stand up for someone like that, how can you be so foolish? Stand by your side, not question it. One day it'll all make sense. How do you not see that? Take it and run with it. That level of independence, and I know me, I know what I'm doing. How do you not take that? You say, damn, that Scorpio is choosing me, clearly. How can I get up? I think it started around as playtime. It just felt fun. But as soon as I start to see the emotional questioning, the fragmentation, I want to explore those cups, but I don't want to put myself into it. In other words, when it started to get pulled into reality as it needs to be consistent because this is causing too much of a conflict. Scorpio's wanting more. And I got to do something to keep them? <sighs> Stop being fun. But then there's an admission down here. An admission. An admission. That three swords. That rejection. Truth is, I should have offered more. Oh, the Emperor. Anyway, let's wrap this one up. Let's see that Emperor, please. Let's see that Emperor, please. Show me that Emperor. Let's see that Emperor, please. The sun, knight of swords, very good. Eight of pentacles, good. Show me empowerment. I told you you had a lot going on for you. It's not just you being forlorn about this. No, no, no. I saw your pentacle world. It's quite extensive. It is. And you are in maintenance with it. So congratulations to you that you're very comfortable with your ten of pentacles. That's not an easy thing to achieve. You seem to have a particular rhythm or stride to it. Uh, and this person goes out of their way to avoid anything that might have to do with it. Any known places that you two used to acquaintance, they don't go there. Nowhere near it. In fact, am I a little too close to that cafe? Am I a little too close to that restaurant where we used to hang? Oh, we're going to go five blocks out of our way to avoid that. That's what I'm talking about. And is that someone you want to be connected to? The answer is no, which is why you are summoning the will to completely emotionally part ways with it. And again, for Scorpio, that is almost a very guarantee of a final death. Do not feel bad about that. Don't. You made yourself as available and open towards this person as you possibly could with insistence to your own fault, at your own fault, or cost, I should say. At first, it was okay. It was. You showed me why you were opening up and taking a risk, but at some point, it worked or backfired on you. So no, do you really want to still stay connected to someone who dodges it like a, like a bad taste? Or a nasty penny that keeps turning up. No. Do you want anyone to treat you like you're someone who has to be avoided? Fuck that. No. 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 
You know, the sun. You know, and that's not because of anything that you would do or the perception of what you would do. It's them. It's them, honey. It's always been them. The insecurity. I should have, could have, would have, and I didn't. It's embarrassing and it's shameful. That's who does that. Not because of what they think you would do, but because of how badly they embarrass themselves. There, I said it. The Sun, Knight of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. Yes, continue, please, by all means, to show empowerment, show yourself happiness, continue to grow, to expand. This is absolutely beautiful. You're taking that action every day to ensure that you are indeed resourceful, proud, still of good standing, that the, the coin is fluid in your life, that you are practiced, and that you are indeed living your best life. I promise you, the more you emotionally detach from this, you get back into what matters. Continue with that Ten of Pentacles. The sun is on your back. Do you know why? Because you're authentic self. That's why. This person's always going to feel like they're walking in shadows because technically they are, just to avoid you. Do yourself a favor when you're out and about, wherever the hell it is you live. Don't look around. You just look forward. Don't worry about it. Trust me. The way they sidestep, you're not going to see them move into the shadows anyway. You live in the sun, darling. Continue to be profitable and prosperous. Be someone who's empowered. And eventually, your emotionality will turn to someone who can actually, you know, I don't know, not be an idiot. Drop the ball, be a coward, you name it. I don't know. Why they're so afraid? I don't know. <laughs> I just, busy and distracted. Speak your truth, karmic partner, you know. Busy, dis that's what I'm saying. There's the avoidance, busy and distracted. That's what it is. It's avoidance. Uh, avoidance speaking the truth. It's karmic at best, whatever this is. In terms of, uh, I don't know that it was a soul bond, but we've known this person a long time. They were good for a lesson and maybe a laugh. Leave it at that. Okay. Okay. Practice gratitude. Eventually stay present. Focus on your abundance. Yes. As I was saying, focus on abundance. New level present itself in time. A thousand percent. Anything else in here, please? Wrap this up. Stay present. Focus on what you have, on what it is you've had to achieve. This person does not define you or your efforts. None at all. If anything, they're a sore reminder of how it might have subtracted from your time, energy, and efforts. Because, uh, but you know, the fact that you turned all that radiance on this person. As I stand here with my own free will. And they're like, that's a problem for me. Don't get me wrong, I'd like to look at you, but you need me to show up consistently? Ah. Uh, but here's the thing. Even they admit, yeah, I know, it was false person bullshit, have your cake, eat it too type. You know, it's, that's what it is. What else could it be? What else could it be? They went out of their way to actively destruct any opportunity for growth with you. And yet they wanted to play around, fuck around with the cups and the feeling. I mean, what else is there? Especially that little hindsight right there at the end. I broke my own heart because I didn't give more. That's some mind-blowing shit. Yeah, number eight, by the way. Childlike, dependence, sweet. Okay, wishful thinking. And this is what I can accuse you of, although I don't too much, but I understand where you came from. Perhaps you understand it was childlike thinking, wish fulfillment of a child, when you actually know better. You're a high-functioning Scorpio adult. You get shit done. But for some reason, this provoked a sense of childlike thinking and wonder for you. And it made you feel vulnerable. Let your guard down. 13, 18, and 8. Okay? All right. Scorpio, honey, I hope this helped you. Remember to go on about your business. Go about your life. And when you go outside, step outside your front door. You keep your eyes forward. Okay? You don't need to be looking around. That's something that they would do because they're trying to avoid you. You look forward. You go on about your damn day. Continue to expand your empire and live under the sun. Take care. Be well.